Trey Corley, we make fun of him a lot, but you may not know this. He is a Grammy award-winning record producer, songwriter, and musician. He's helped create the music for people like Donnie McClurkin, Toby Mac, Carmen, Jason Crabb, and Michael W. Smith. He uses his world-class talents to bring unity to a divided world. And to prove it, Trey and co-writer Sam Mullins have written a new song, the groove will set you free. Would you welcome platinum selling songwriter Sam Mullins and our very own music director, Trey Corley. We've been doing this show for four years. Trey finally got a walk on. I got a walk on. That's pretty big deal. And they're playing the music I wrote. That's I know. Cool. That is really awesome, isn't it? Weird. I've always wanted to just walk out to a band play, and that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go back and do it again, Joe? Yes. Oh, okay. We could do it a few more times. You've been playing since you were a little bitty kid, yes, right? Yes, sir. When did you start? I started playing the drums. My brother taught my brothers both uh, taught me to play drums. I started playing at four. I was playing four. drums at four. We had a family group. Yeah. We traveled and sang. Um, my mother and father we uh, started to, had Southern Gospel groups where uh -huh. we started. All this came from Southern Gospel. It's pretty crazy, and we traveled, sang, and had a blast at music, and just grew up in music my whole life. And, and then you gravitated the word keyboard and, and yes, songwriting. Sir. And well, how did that all move from playing the drums as a four year old to producing records wow. for oh, yeah. Grammy winning people? Uh, I truly was playing in church. We all, I think, most of us where we met was church. Yes. Um, so we literally, you're playing in music, and there's so many styles of music in church. Yeah. And uh, it, it really had so many influence. My brother started a studio. I was young, and I was like, I got to work in the studio. So I watched my brothers in the studio. Uh, my brother wrote jingles and wrote all kinds of music and hmm. stuff. And so I wanted to do, you know, what both my brothers were doing. And I think they poured a lot of stuff into me. My dad played. My mom played bass. My mom was the bass player. Wow. In the group. All right, Sam, you and your wife have 10 kids. We do. She won't leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> obviously not. <laughs> I love it. Sorry, babe. She's here tonight, so. Um, <laughs> she may not be now. So yeah, she's, she's left. Right. She's gone. She's walking out, um, Sam. <laughs> we, we are blended family. We both had five children. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, she kept me in the friend zone forever. And, what you know... <laughs> You're not going to marry somebody that has five kids if you have five. It's <laughs> crazy. So, no, no. Do no. any of them have musical interest? Or yes. Oh, definitely. Uh, uh, my daughter Aubrey, big time, hmm. uh, plays all over the U.S. You know, she's Great. really into it, and, and that's neat to see. You know, as a dad, you want to say, "Well, if you have daughters, and we have seven, I live in an ocean of estrogen." <laughs> Whoa! But I know. I you know. have no chance, man. But no. you tell your daughters, you know, I'd like for him to know the Lord. No musicians, none. <laughs> but yes, it's a, it's a wonderful thing. There's a song you guys are going to uh, perform tonight, and it is so powerful. I want you to talk, Trey, about the song, The Groove Will Set You Free. Because yes, music sir. has traditionally brought people together oh, rather than yeah. split them apart. So what's the inspiration of this that song? That was totally our idea. Um, the verses talk about... Uh, which you'll get to hear in a minute, but some of the things that it talks about is how our world lives in a world where uh, everyone's a winner even if they lose. Mm. I mean, everybody gets a trophy now. Yeah. They're, we're not teaching our kids that you got to um, fight to win. And yeah. I think when we sat yeah. down, we were talking about that. It's like, man, you're, you're, we're, and music brings so much unity together it does. that hopefully we can write something that encourages people to look at their inwardly. Um, and I think we're, we're both, we met at church. So I think I can say we met at church and we're in a lot of Christian music that we do. Most of the stuff work that I've done is in Christian music. So in Ecclesiastes 7 and 14, yes, I'm going to give you scripture. And I'll get this later. <laughs> you, man. But it says, on a good day, give thanks. Yeah. On a bad day, evaluate yourself. Mm. Truly, I think our world is not evaluating themselves. They're not mm. looking inwardly. Everybody's like, you're the one who caused this. You're the one who caused this. You're the one who caused this. Yeah. And music, I believe with the right music and with the right lyrics and words, hopefully it makes us to look inwardly. How do we bring unity? And I think that can happen. Mm. Uh, hopefully through this song, just talking about men, you know, it doesn't matter if you're black, white, red, Asian, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. 
yeah. God came for everybody, and uh, we hope we can show that through the song. I think the song beautifully does that, and I'm, I'm very excited that our audience yes, both here in this theater and at home are going to be able to hear it. Trey and Sam, thank you for allowing our thank audience you, just to get to know you like I do. By the way, you can follow Trey Corley and all his music projects at treycorley.com.